so today I'm going to be doing the Crazy Poppin' Cookin' Waffle Set. It just came out. Um, I got this from Ashley from Paper Pastel, so thank you, Ashley. I love you. Um, so if you would like to try this kit or um, some of the other um, Poppin' Cookins and Happy Kitchens, then head on over to PaperPastels.com. Um, she has all of them there as well as a lot of other really cute stuff, so go check it out if you don't already know about it. So let's get started. I love me some waffles. I used to eat waffles and bacon for dinner like all the time as a kid because I'd be like, hey mom, what's for dinner? And she'd be like, I don't know, make something yourself. And I was like, oh. And so I'd have waffles and bacon. <laughs> Story of my life. So we have the orange packet that is filled with the batter for the waffle. The blueberry sauce. The strawberry sauce. Wait, is this the blueberry sauce? There's two blue packets. Or a blue and a purple. Blue one and a purple one. Oh, the blue one is for the cream. Sorry. <laughs> so the purple one is for the blueberry and the blue one is for the cream. So, the tray comes with this really cute heart waffle mold. And I know that some of you are going to yell at me, but I kind of want to try to use this for clay. And some people were saying, don't use plastic for clay. It'll be diseased. But I just want to try it one time, okay? I just want to try it one time. So I'm going to cut all these doodads out and hope that I'm not doing it wrong. So much cutting. So I don't know why this little tray has a... It has a little, um, music note in there. I don't, I don't know why. Does it make music? I don't know. Probably not. That would probably be kind of weird. I don't think it does that. So I don't know why there's a music note there. Just for funsies. And this one has a clover. Don't know why. I'm cutting these really bad. Guess you have to. Am I supposed to cut it out all the way? I think so. I don't know. Mm. Okay, so I cut out all my little containers, and it smells very heavily of plastic in here. Okie dokie. So, first we're going to make the little waffle mix. So, I do believe that we are going to only use half of this for one waffle. Oh. oh, it smells really good. This is like pure sugar. But that's okay. So there's a little line in here. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to fill up the batter to that line, I believe. And then we're going to do one scoop. Oh, the scoop says 5 cc's in it. It doesn't usually say that. But we're going to do one It's very hard to stir in this little tiny container. I don't want to get it everywhere. And the power of editing now. Okay, so I started using my hands because it was being really hard to stir with the spoon. So I just used my hands. And now we have this little ball of waffle. I'm going to go ahead and make the other one the same way. Okay. So now I have my other little ball. So now we're going to make the little waffles. So I'm going to put my little heart waffles on the little heart doily. So here's our little waffle mold. That's adorable. We're going to plop that guy in there. And this is very squishy. So I don't know how that's going to work out. It's so cute! So there's our one little waffle. I guess I'll put it directly in the middle there. Oh, it's perfect! Okay. So, the batter tastes like vanilla. It doesn't have a super whole lot of flavor, but there's not really a lot you can expect from these kits <laughs> in terms of taste, so I think it tastes very good, considering it's made from a powder. 
So, aww. Oh, that one kind of, kind of has a hole in it. But that's okay. So I'm actually going to do like that. Aw, look how cute they are. <laughs> They're adorable. Okay, so we'll move those aside for now. And now we're going to do the blueberry part. Okay, so now we're going to take our purple powder. Oh, oh, that smells really good. And then we're going to do a scoop of water. Isn't it funny how blueberries are called blueberries, but they're kind of purple? Should be called purple berries. Oh my god, this smells delightful. That tastes delightful too. And then we put it in this little tiny mold that actually they look like little tomatoes. But it's going to make the little indent of the blueberries. So we're going to plop those in there. This smells awesome. Okie dokie. So we're going to let those sit and solidify. You know what? I'm going to experiment. I'm going to freestyle here a little bit, guys. Just bear with me here. So I have a lot of this blueberry left over. I might just make a waffle out of this. I'll just see what happens. It might be kind of weird. But you know what? We're just going to try it. It's probably not even going to work. But care I do not. I'm just going to let that sit for a while. See what happens there. And I'm going to go rinse out my little tray because it has blueberry stuff in it. Okay, now we're going to do our syrupy strawberry sauce. It also smells really good. Bloop. There's our strawberry sauce, which tastes awesome. Now we're going to make our cream the blue packet in this little guy. I'm going to do a scoop of water. This is really tiny. It's hard to stir in here. Hello. Might as well just like spin it in here. Lordy. Okay, so now we're going to assemble our waffles. So first we're going to use the strawberry syrup. I love waffles with fruit on them. I think it's delightful. Now, I'm going to put the cream on. Yeah. The picture on the front doesn't show they use very much cream, but I don't want the cream on there. Yeah. Okay. Then, I'm going to take out these little blueberry guys. So cute! This is how the little blueberry came out. Very cute. Yay! So that's my waffles. Or those are my waffles, and they look so adorable. I love them. I love this kit. It's so cute. Okay, so now I want to eat it. I love the strawberry sauce. The waffle has a very chewy texture. It's not at all like a real waffle. But what do you expect? The strawberry sauce is very sweet. And strawberry-y. The blueberry tastes like blueberry. Overall, I think it's pretty tasty, but... I generally like all of the popping cookins, so... <laughs> some people may think this is really, really nasty. But I like it. <laughs> I don't really think that there's been one that I thought was like so disgusting. Well, I take that back. I don't think I ate the curry one all the way. You can go back and check my video, but I don't think I like that one very much. But I kind of don't remember. But I think this is very tasty. And I really like the heart mold that it comes with. 
Mm. Very good. So like I said, you can get this kit in Paper Pastels online store. And I hope you guys enjoy it like I did. Okay, now we're going to see <coughs> how this guy fared. I'm really curious to see if it even comes out. Come on, Mr. Blueberry thing. What? Oh. Looks like it's going to come out. Oh, my gosh. No, don't break. Oh, my gosh. It made a little waffle. It made a waffle out of blueberry. That's awesome. Holy crap. Can I turn it over? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, now I want to eat it all. Ah! Yeah, the strawberry definitely tastes better than the blueberry, but that's still really cool. See you later, guys. Bye.